Okay, good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is August 18th, 2022. And I have a couple things I want to share with you. Before I share the dream and what I was shown, I want to uh, read some scripture to you. You guys know that I've been sharing for a long time about what it means to believe in God. And coming against a lot of these false doctrines and these false teachings. Okay, where you just have to mentally... Um, believe that Jesus is God because they're they're taking uh they're just simply not understanding the word of God where it says you just believe and you're saved but believe means obeying the gospel it means obeying okay if we believe in God then we're going to do what he tells us to do so every once in a while when the Lord shows me something like this I feel led to just share these little pieces of truth every time he brings them to me so I'm going to do that and this is in 2 Thessalonians, okay? Um, it's 1 through 3, and I'm on verse 5. I'm just going to read it. It's just real short. But again, this is um, from the Bible. It is the truth on what it means to believe. So this verse is called the judgment at Christ's coming. Now, it goes on to say, This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. Now, since indeed God considers it just to repay with affliction those who afflict you and to grant relief to you who are afflicted as well as to us. When the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. When he comes on that day to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at among all who have believed because our testimony to you was believed. So there again is that truth. And this is what he says. He will be inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God. Why do they not know God? Because they are not obeying him. They are not obeying the gospel. There's a reason that every word in that Bible is there. It's not just so that we can say, oh, I, I believe what he did. I believe he existed. It, it literally means obeying what he tells us to do. And I've gone over this several times. So I wanted to just put this in first thing this morning before I get on with the dream. So let's get into the dream now. I had a couple of scenes, and this one scene um, is talking about uh, the coming One World Church. So, here's a dream. Now, in this dream, I stood looking out a window, and I was looking at a small group of men, maybe three men, and then there was a, a five-year-old child. Now, these guys were all silhouetted in black. I could not see any features. They were all like shadows. Beside me stood a nun. Now, the nun told me that they were able to communicate or to receive information from Israel. Then, and they had received coordinates on Jesus' coming. So as I watched this group, I could see supernatural things happening. I saw light and like angels coming from their fingertips. And then all of a sudden, the tree beside them lit up and fireworks exploded. Now, I looked up and I began to worship the Lord because I thought, wow, this is This is amazing. Okay, so let's see. I think that was pretty much it. I just, um, oh, I also knew in this scene too was shown that to be able to um, be close to God or to be able to um, be saved, so to speak, you had to give up absolutely everything, your family and everything. And, it's, and it was referring to the lady that was a nun, okay? So the interpretation that we got from this is that this dream is a warning about the one world church, which we will be run by Catholicism. Catholicism. Now in the Bible that we have been warned that these people will perform signs and wonders to deceive even the elect if possible. Matthew 24, 23 through 25 says this. At that time, if anyone says to you, look, here's the Messiah or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and they will perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you ahead of time. 
Now, Israel will play a big part in this as well because the Antichrist will be running the show from Jerusalem. So the dream is just showing that this is all coming together. And the fact that I was enticed by this, I actually believe it. I believe this speaks to how powerful this influence is going to be upon the world. Now, I'm not here to say whether we're going to be here, whether we're not. We, we know from the word of God that the church will be taken out. So I just believe this is a warning for people that, um, that haven't come to the Lord yet, or maybe people that will be here. Um, I wasn't given anything else, so I'm not going to go into that. I'm simply just going to share with you guys what I was shown. And these signs and wonders were very, very believable. But like I said, the, the men were in dark. God is light. This was dark. So this is why I knew this was a warning. Okay. And uh, I just ask you guys, as always, to please pray for discernment on this. Okay. Always pray for discernment on everything that, it, that I share with you. And I think that's it. Again, uh, the Lord showed me some more truth on what it means to believe. When you believe in Christ, you obey him. It, re it talks about this all through the Bible. But a lot of these people, they say, no, this is what it really means. You know, it's not easy to follow Christ. It's not. You're, you're going to suffer. He, Paul speaks about this in, that, in this very uh, chapter that I was in. All right, but we pick up our cross and we follow Christ and we obey him. Okay, so I just pray for each and every one of you guys. It's nice, kind of nice to get back on here and, and communicate with you guys. And uh, the Lord's been just showing me a lot of personal things, things that he's, he's working on through me and my family. And uh, so I received this dream last night and shared it with my friend Melissa, of course. And now I'm sharing it with you guys. So I do love you guys. I pray for each and every one of you. And if I get anything out, you guys know I'll put it out. So that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. All right. Bye.